I remember buying a keyboard thinking that I could make everything myself. Um, I filled up my bedroom with equipment from wall to wall and spent around a year doing that. I had to come to terms with that I couldn't do it and um, I knew I had to contact a producer so I contacted a Swedish producer named Adam Freeman. <laughs> I knew that he had worked with artists like Eagle Eye Cherry, mm -hmm. so I knew from his past work that he was the right one to create this album. In December, I arrived for the first time in my life in Stockholm. Um, I got out to a small secluded island uh, where Adam lives, which is like 30 kilometers outside Stockholm. It's a beautiful place. The day after I arrived, I got up in the studio and uh, Adam has a like big wooden house. So Adam has gathered all these great musicians from Sweden, very very skilled and you know we just clicked right away and um, started the recording immediately. The naive soul I am. I thought that everything could be actually done right there on the spot. But um, questions like, do we need strings? Do we need keyboards? Uh, do we want to do it here in the computer? Do we want to do it with real strings? I've never thought about that. And now the magic touch. What do you guys say whenever you hear the vocal? Don't you think it's right that it's going to be yeah, more yeah, strength? Open, it's yeah, it opens up. the song yeah. up. It sounds like a demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it does. It's like a demo. Yeah, it's, it's because it's great. Camper. It's great from from whenever it, it, it's the chorus is in. This life is so young. It has a little more spark. Yeah. I spoke with Adam about it, and he said, "Well, it sounds like you want real strings in this." So we ended up contacting two guys, Mark as an engineer, Tommy Hansen, the writer, and suddenly I was in Prague. We went through the material and recorded some of the best strings, and I'm very proud of it. Sitting there and listening to yeah, 40 people playing violins, cellos, flutes, horns, and playing that um, arrangement the first time was just absolutely mind-blowing. All this time In this race where our worlds collide We can grow Like a drop In the ocean we can multiply And bring home Sit sail from shore We can ride the wind Escape from the storm 
Adam and I decided that recording the vocals was a great job for one of Adam's friends, uh, engineer and producer Brian Spurgo. And we actually recorded the vocals straight two weeks in his apartment on Manhattan. No filming around here. <laughs> So is this just in the first verse or where the... I just have to go through it. Did you back anything up from the old song, by the way? Adam did the mix of the album and I went up to Stockholm and we did the mastering just really to test if the album was where we wanted it to be and in that shape we wanted. I took the album home with me and um, after listening to the album a couple of times I realized that after all this work that we weren't there yet. Was this it? Should I give up? Um, at that time, I've overspent. I was bankrupt. But I just knew that putting the album out this way didn't make sense to me. That was not what I was shooting for, and that was not where I wanted to end up. I agree with Ronnie that we got to make sure. I'm going to have to re key those vocals because this could drown, those bottom end could drown out the vocals. I eventually called a guy named Steve Thompson. He had worked with people like David Bowie, Guns N' Roses, John Lennon. Out of frustration, I really just called him. And Steve answered my call, thankfully. And he was really, in a long time, one of the first people to encourage me to go on, take the next step. Um, and and make it as I, as I wanted it. It's not cool. what Steve is working in a great studio called DNA Facilities. And I met with the, their great engineer, Steve Charlie, on there. And right away, we started mixing the album with the new approach. After mixing the album for straight three weeks, working night and day, um, I decided that Ted at Stirling Sound should be the one mastering the album. Just because he had worked on so many albums over the years that I really liked. Can you 
to get Sarah over there. Come on, yep. we've got to shoot. We had this idea for the album cover. Did you know what I've been thinking? Would you know these words to say it's true? I love you all the way. I find it hard to say I'm sorry. I find it hard to say, but it's the truth. Yeah, I lost my way. Five days of terrible wind and pouring rain on Manhattan, but um, eventually it paid off. Um, I'm very excited about the cover and the great work that 451 have done. Thinking about the album today makes me really proud. I, I, I think that we went through the struggles um, and the hardship. And most importantly, we didn't compromise. I think that's, that's one of the great things. And I think we ended up with an album sounding much greater than I had hoped for. Um, so if people like this, it's just an extra bonus, I think.